Hi friends, this is Joy Banerjee from AIGD Support and today we will see how to install Docker in Ubuntu 16.04. Okay, so in this video I'm not, not really going to uh, deep dive about Docker, what exactly it is, but I will be creating a separate video for that. But in this video we will see how to install it. Okay, so in one word Docker is the API on which we create containers and in the container we can put any uh, operating system like uh, Ubuntu, CentOS or any other flavor or we want to install any application that is also possible okay so I will let you know how to do it and what you need to do okay so let's say this is a fresh machine on which I have logged in with root okay so if you have not logged in with the root so you need to run command sudo uh, sudo space su to switch user to root Okay, the first command which you want to ru uh, run is app get update. Okay, so this is the first command which I want to run so that it get updated from the repository of Ubuntu. Okay, so once it is updated, we need to use this command. Okay, to really okay, uh, I missed out one thing, so I need to go to home and use a okay so this is going to uh, run this command okay so it ran properly so now again we need to uh, run uh, uh, update command okay so just to be on sync with everything okay and now what we can do is we can check we can check the docker engine status okay but as of now okay I guess we missed out one command so that I will clear this and run this command okay to add repository so it is added okay now we need to run okay update okay now it is getting updated okay now it seems to be done okay I will do a clear screen okay so now I will run this command to check. Okay, okay. Okay, so now we can see this this particular app get cache policy docker engine. It is going to give you a version of the docker which has been uh, released okay so if you talk if you see this is 1.11 which is the latest uh, which is the earliest version which when uh, the dockers were released then and if you talk about the latest one that that says like 1704 okay so this is the latest uh, docker version so we will be installing the latest one only so for that what you need to do is we will copy this and then we will paste this particular command okay now you can see this time it is able to connect and uh, now it is installing the docker okay so it seems to be it is installed so to check that we can run another command okay for that I will do a clear screen and now I will paste the command here and see Okay, so now you can see um, the Docker service is in a running state. So we are good. Okay, so and I need to add my this particular ID to into the Docker group. Okay, so I just want to add this to the Docker group. okay so let's move on with this particular docker so now you can see the docker is running so what I can do is docker info I can run so in the docker info you can see it is giving you a list of containers it shows like zero containers 
and how many are running how many are paused how many stop and how many images we have okay so right now we don't have any images so images are like they're the package which which they push uh, from the repository of docker they are pre-built by certain uh, certain distributions okay so they are free to use you can see like I will show you a few of the distributions like if you run like docker okay docker search okay and then you need to put the image name in case we write up like Ubuntu okay and if you hit enter so it will try to go to the internet and uh, let me just maximize this okay so now you can go to uh, the internet and give you the release version uh, what are the versions are available in case of uh, images right so we can pull these images like if you see uh, it it says like officially okay that means there is um, official support which you can get and in case there is uh, no real mention about the official okay in that case you're not going to get any um, tech support with that particular vendor in case of any you know, like application like uh, let's uh, if we like send OS if we do send OS so it is going to list the versions and the images which we have regarding the send OS okay so here you can see like if you do a clear screen and if I write like docker search and if you write like WordPress okay this is a application which we can install as well but here you can see the WordPress is also available it has a different distributions from Bitnami and other other are other vendors are as well available okay so like this you can pull the pull the images from the docker repository okay so let's say I try with Ubuntu okay so I would like to pull the docker from uh, okay um, I just want to show you one thing before we uh, before we do that. So now you can see initially we have two Ethernet card. Okay. So after installing the Docker, so we get another Ethernet card which says it's Docker uh, zero, which is going to uh, have a IP address of 172.17.0.1, so which is doing the interaction with the containers. Okay. And from this particular NIC card, we also get uh, IP address to assign to particular containers when we create containers. Okay, so I'll show you how to create the containers. I will let you know as well. So let me uh, clear this screen and now let you know how how to, how to really start up. Okay, so <clears throat> we can lo do like Docker. If if you are not aware of the commands, you can hit help. Okay, so it will list it will list <clears throat> what are the uh, type of commands which you can run okay and uh, like you can see uh, these are the management command like container image network okay and um, these are the switches which you can use like attach build commit so I will uh, let you know all of the all of the things but in a different video but but in this particular video we'll see how to create a container how to pull the images how to start a container and uh, how to how to really stop start and remove okay so let me uh, just clear this again in this particular video I will let you know how to create a container okay so before we create a container we need to pull a image okay let's say we want to create a container for Ubuntu okay so what we need to do is we need to type docker <coughs> and then we need to uh, type pull and then the image name okay so like uh, we can also like image and then we can put like Ubuntu okay and uh, we can uh, we can hit this okay and I guess we it says like docker pull options and then name tag okay so we'll use docker pull Ubuntu okay so it will try to get the latest one you can see it shows like the latest one and then it is trying to download and it is showing uh, download is complete and it is downloading as of now so once it is downloaded it will going to show you that what are the uh, what exactly the size of the this particular um, image which which is which it is downloading from the repository
okay so now what we can see is docker images okay so now you can see uh, in the, the this is the local repository it is pulling out like we have downloaded we have pulled one docker image and it is about 117 mb okay and now let's sh let me show you like like if you want to have a specific version of ubuntu uh, for os let's say we want to have a version of os of ubuntu like again we need to use like docker pull okay and this time we'll write ubuntu with a version like 14.04 4 okay so this is a version which we want to pull so we use like ubuntu then colon then the version and i will hit enter and this time it will search for this particular version and then it will download it okay so now you can see it is done so i will do docker images okay so now you can see um, that in the tag you can see like it says like 14.0 and latest so right now what we have done is we have downloaded the images but not yet we have created a container okay because if i do docker uh, ps hyphen a so it is going to show you what are the type of uh, how many containers we have so as of now we're, we are not going to have uh, not not having any uh, containers here okay so let me do a clear screen and let me create the first container okay to create a container what you need to do is so you need to write docker and this time we need to use run command docker run then i will use hyphen it okay and this time i will use the image name which will be like ubuntu with a version 14 dot o uh, o4 and then i will write like bin slash bash okay so when we run this and hit enter now you can see uh, initially we were logged into ubuntu now you can see we have a different number okay so this is basically a container id right now i'm in a container okay so if i do ls so you can see I'm in a container which is having a different environment. Okay, and if I do pwd, sorry, pwd, it is going. It is going to show you where I am. Okay, and also if I do a if config, and this time you can see it is having a two i uh, two network cards and one is having the ip address which is 172.17.0.2 okay so now you can see uh, we have a container okay let's say if we do a uh, exit okay if i do exit then i am back to this particular host machine okay so now if i do a uh, docker ps so you can see i don't have any image but ultimately we have created an image why it is not showing up so we need to use uh, docker ps hyphen a to show all the images okay so now you can see this is the container id this is the image which we have used and this is created a minute ago and at this moment the status is exited so that means this is in a stop state okay so when we do exit that means that particular container is going to be stopped okay so let's say we want to start this container so okay for that what you need to do is we need to copy out the container copy out the container name okay and then you use docker and start okay and then the container id and hit enter so now you can see uh, it says um, a successful message like that and if i run like docker ps now you can see this particular container is in an up state okay now you may have a question like okay now i have uh, this container is up how i will log into this particular container okay so for that we need to run a command which is docker okay and uh, attach then again the container id okay so this is our container id i will hit enter and if i hit enter again now you can see i'm again logged into this particular container okay and if i do if config 
it is going to give me the same IP address okay so now you want that this container should be running and you just need to log out from this particular container what you need to do so for that you need to do like you need to press control then P and then Q okay now you can see I'm logged out and if I do docker PS now you can show that this particular container is still running and we are logged out for the, from that particular container okay so this is how you will create a container and this is how you will log into this particular container okay so there are so many other things which we can do with this particular docker and this is very advanced um, thing which we, which we can really use it and if you like this particular video just like and subscribe to my channel because i'm going to really um, go ahead and create more videos on dockers i really liking it and it, it's having so many things which we can really explore together and if you have anything in your mind like you you have any question about docker and if you want to just uh, want to know about it and want to know how things work so you can put the, put the, those things in the comment so that i can answer and I can let you know how to really move forward with docker okay and we can we can really learn things together and move ahead so this is this is the first video on docker and i just want to just tell you this particular software and abi is going to have so much of potential okay so uh, what i what what i want from you is just hit the subscribe button so that we can see you again with new videos like this okay so please let me know how you like it if you have any query just shoot out to the comments and this is joy Banerjee signing off from egg support thank you very much